Get up, get focused, get into your passion and moeo everywhere we go. Yesterday, I introduced you a thought I had that stems from a dream. Slow down and stay on the path. Yesterday, I talked about slow down and what it could mean. Today, I want to delve into a little bit the thought of stay on the path. See, sometimes speed doesn't matter if you're not on the path. I used to do road races all the time. 5Ks, 10Ks, marathons. I had a friend of mine named Scott. Scott was a super fast runner. Scott trained us, trying to teach us skills to be faster. He kind of coached us. But Scott was in a class all his own. He was a speedster. He went on to run college track and cross country. But there was this one race where Scott, we were there, Scott was running. Scott was gonna win the race. Hands down, there was nobody in the race that could beat Scott. Scott takes off and he blasts out of the start. There was nobody even near him. It was a 5K race out and back. And so Scott takes off and it was a little country race. There wasn't any car leading the way. The road, the trail wasn't marked all that great. So Scott takes off. He's so far ahead that the people that were supposed to be guiding us on the trail weren't even paying attention yet. So Scott goes running past this turn right before the turnaround. He's supposed to turn left. Scott keeps going straight and he's going fast and nobody even notices and he's gone by. So minutes later, the second place person comes, people are ready then, they see them, they point the right way, they turn, they go around, make the turn around. And we're back just a little ways and kind of up to the turnaround. I'm looking for Scott coming back. Scott's nowhere in sight. Here comes this guy leading the race that can't even run within a minute of Scott. And he's ahead. And I'm thinking, Scott must have fallen apart. But it's so early in the race, surely not. And so we turn the corner, make a turn, start our way back. And we all get all the way back to the finish and never saw Scott. And then all of a sudden we look back, here comes Scott, he's behind us. I've never ran within two minutes of Scott, much less beat him, and he's coming blasting at this pace. And he doesn't look like he's slowing down at all. He looks faster than anybody in the race. And he finishes, and I just can't figure this out because he looks great coming through. Well, come to find out, Scott missed the turn. He got off the path. He was the fastest racer that day by far, but he missed a turn. He got off the path. So his speed made no difference. He was the fastest person in the field. We all knew that, but the guy that crossed the finish line first was still the winner. And Scott wasn't because he didn't stay on the path. And he couldn't trust the people on the path to direct him. He had to rely on himself. But he was running so fast and in his own world where he just wasn't paying attention. And so sometimes that's what happens to us in our life. We are going so fast and we're feeling good like... We are setting a torrid pace, but we're not paying attention to the path. Are we still on the path? Because if we're not, then we're running that pace for nothing. It's gaining us nothing unless we stay on the path that God has set before us. So it makes it ever more real to me 
that when things seem out of control, maybe they are. Maybe it's time to slow down and stay on the path. That's the opportunity to slow down and stay on the path. And if you don't take that opportunity, your opportunity cost is it doesn't matter how fast you're going, you've fallen off the path and there are consequences. Moyo, everywhere we go.